Hello students, let us discuss about amendments given in November 2017 RTP for IPCC accounts paper. Now, the amendment is in the chapter known as manager's remuneration. What is the amendment? In manager's remuneration, the limits which were given earlier has been revised. So, which limits have been revised? Limits in case companies having no profit or inadequate profits have been revised. Earlier, they used to give effective capital. This is the effective capital of the company. This company is not having profit or inadequate profit. So based on this effective capital, this is the maximum manager's remuneration that can be paid. Now, the concept remains the same. The only change is the limits of the manager's remuneration which is allowed has been changed. It has been doubled from the earlier limits. Let us try to understand what they say. If the company has no profit or inadequate profit, then without approval of central government, they need not take approval of central government and they can pay a manager's remuneration up to the following limits. What are the limits? If the effective capital is negative or less than 5 crores, they have a less effective capital. As per the new limits, as per the new limits, maximum manager's remuneration is 60 lakhs. Maximum manager's remuneration is 60 lakhs. Next one, if the effective capital is more than equal to 5 crores but less than 10 crores, less than 10 crores, in that case it is 84 lakhs maximum manager remuneration. Next, effective capital is more than equal to 100 crores but less than 250 crores, less than 250 crores, in that case, in that case, maximum manager remuneration is 120 lakhs. And the last one, if the effective capital is 250 crores or more, in that case, manager remuneration is that 120 lakhs plus 0.01% of the effective capital over 250 crores. So these are the new limits. So how to remember the new limits? In the effective capital side, you need to remember 5 crores, 100 crores, 250 crores and 250 crores and above. 5 crores, 100 crores, 250 crores and last one, 250 crores and above. In the limit side, 60, 84, 120, 120 plus 0.01% of the amount exceeding 250 crores. These are the new limits. This much maximum remuneration can be allowed even without taking the permission of central government. Next, this limits can also be doubled if the shareholders pass special resolution. This limits can be doubled if the shareholder pass special remuneration. Means, if special resolution is passed, you can give more remuneration even without going to central government. So what if we want to pay remuneration more than that double limit also? Then you have to go to central government and ask for the permission. Now, the next part is if the period is less than one year. Many a times it happens that company started during the year, middle of the year. In that case, how much maximum manager remuneration can be paid during that year? So they say in that case pro rata basis. Which basis? Pro rata basis. Example, say normal limit, normal limit for the first lab is 60 lakhs if entire year is considered. So let us imagine a company is operating for half of the year. In that case, the limit will become 30 lakhs. Pro rata basis, proportionate calculation, nothing else. The next part of that amendment is if any managerial person is functioning in a professional capacity, is functioning in a professional capacity okay? and he is not having any interest in the capital of the company or its holding company or its subsidiary company directly and indirectly at any time during the two years before or after the date of appointment and he is having appropriate qualification, appropriate knowledge. In that case, you can pay him manager remuneration without limit. You need not take permission from central government. Clear? So these were the small amendments in manager remuneration. That's about it. Thank you so much.